Okay everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Mike Newton down here at Penrith Golf Hub. TaylorMade launch, we'll carry on the series and it's this time, it's the P7MB, the muscle bat, the pure blade, the forged iron, the slither of metal. We are gonna take a look at that particular iron today. And first impressions, again, it looks absolutely stunning. You may have seen pictures of this with Rory putting these in the bag pretty quickly, um, going back a, a number of weeks. So uh, really looking forward to getting that. And there's always that question at that particular time was, will they come to the market for consumers to purchase and here it is really excited to try this so i've got trackman on the floor as always so we'll provide you with some data and my personal feedback of the performance of the 7mb okay so pure blade so i've done the videos for the 770 uh the 7 mc which was beautiful and now moving into the blade so i'm sort of quite nicely warmed up and there's a reason why i did it in that order because i didn't want to start out cold so to speak in terms of going straight into a bladed iron uh, but it looks absolutely stunning but putting that down by the ball I mean, yeah, it's compact. There's very little offset there. Um, obviously, medium, thinnish top line, but it's not mega thin. And I wouldn't say the blade e length is massively compact. I've seen smaller, so it's not a real daunting look down by the ball. Yeah, it's small. How that will look in a long grind will probably be a little bit more scarier. Um, but obviously, you've got the tiger iron as well. So when you look at the tiger iron, I mean, that is really thin on the top. Um, much thinner looking behind the ball with the tiger iron. So the tiger iron is staying in the range. That's not going. That's going to sit alongside this. So this 7MB is more of a replacement of the P730 iron, which again was a beautiful looking club. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to get, we'll get the first one hit because I'm really excited to give this one a hit. Beautiful looking club. Again, it's that satin sort of finish as you're looking at it in that address position, but you've got that little bit of chrome on the back section, which I think looks quite classy. Okay, struck that okay. I've just left that a little bit out to the right there, but struck it well. It felt superb on the contact, as you're going to expect. Yeah, so one, six, two, carry a little bit leaky to the right. And I'm going to drop a little bit of yardage there. Six, seven on that spin. So seven, nine, I've got in my hands, 35 degrees of loft. So very, very weak compared to modern lofts nowadays. More you'd expect to see in this sort of bladed uh, sort of club. So again, it's not all around distance power here. It's more about control, accuracy, you know, workability of that golf ball through the air. a little bit toe side it's flown okay it's flown pretty straight didn't quite get all that ball speed dropping off and that's probably the thing you're going to see a little bit toe slightly heavy see five four spin drops that's the thing you're going to see is a bigger drop off on ball speed when you miss that middle of the club face there you're definitely going to know about it and you're definitely going to get that feedback which i think is a good thing in a way isn't it? you're knowing where you strike on that club face you know i think sometimes the more game improvement irons and again, there's a, there's, a, there's a positive there, isn't there, that you're getting more ball speed on the missed hits for that certain uh, level of golf. But at the same time, you don't always know exactly where you're hitting it on that club face. Whereas, uh, you know, more of a pure blade, you're definitely going to know about it. Oh, it's beautiful. Again, very high, high towering flight. I obviously can manipulate that down as and when I sort of want to in a way. 121 ball speed. 6-2 six, spin, 166 six, carry. So we're seeing obviously not as much distance here now. Spin rate going up a little bit more as you'd expect this type of iron with that loft. So the sole is, is, is pretty thin. It's a pretty thin sole there. I think again, looking at a tiger, I think tiger might even be a little bit thinner again. So um, it is two sort of different clubs there. And, and what, if you watch my review of the tiger, it's a little bit of a harder feel because it has some tungsten in the head right behind the sort of sweet spot, um, which just gives it that slightly harder, but that's his preference. So this does feel much what I would prefer anyway, that sort of muted sound, that softer sort of feel. Just a little bit pulley, but a beautiful flight again. Might just go a touch longer there with that slight pull shot. Yeah, a little bit longer as you'd expect, but not massively long. 
So again, similar to the MC iron, this is a bit more round precision as it's uh, produced. So we've got a 2000 ton press, which is pressing the metal, that 1020 carbon steel pressing it and getting the grains very, very sort of tight. So no hot spots, more consistency, that better feel of that club face is what Taylor made is sort of claiming there. Um, we've got, again, this, I think the shaping of the head is just classical, you know, it's, there's nothing wacky. The blade length is great. The toe section I really, really like. Very little offset and there's 0.5 of a millimeter difference from the three iron offset to the pitch and wedge offset. So you're pretty much seeing the same offset right the way through um, the sort of irons there. Oh, crunch that, beautiful. Stunning flight. Every flight there is through that same window. I've just moved my strike subtly there with those shots, but every strike is through that same sort of window. And again, it's quite a high ball flight. As we've seen with all the models that are reviewed in this new P range, they've all been very sort of high on that ball flight, which I quite like because I know as a, as a, as a better player, I can, I can knock that ball flight down if I wanted to. So available three iron all the way through to pitch your wedge. I'm not sure what a three iron's gonna be like. It might be a bit of a scary animal, but they will blend, I think, really nice with that MC iron. Um, possibly, you know, you might be switching out the long irons and maybe putting the 770 in there as a long iron. You know, um, it depends on, you know, your preference really. And obviously you've got the SIM utility iron, which the video will be coming shortly if it's not already on my video. Um, right hand only though. So unfortunately for you lefties, there's, uh, there's no left hand option in this MB iron. Again, that was a slightly toe contact, but I'm getting, I mean, it was slightly, but I'm getting that feedback through that type of head. Yeah, nice there, six and a half thousand, that spin, that was a better strike there, that spin number. Okay, let's just try and maybe move a couple now, because obviously the design of these irons is more about workability of that golf ball, how you can shape the ball, maybe that better player is wanting to sort of move the ball around. So I'm just gonna try and hit a little a fade here which is always a little bit of a slightly tougher shot for me personally. Okay, not a bad strike, a touch of fade. It was trying, it sort of straightened up towards the end of its flight a little bit there. Always a bit of a tougher shot for me, it ends up being a little bit, sometimes a bit pulley. Okay, let's try and move one a little bit more right to left. Hopefully the camera's all right where it is. Again, a little bit more of a, of a push there. I didn't quite get that turning, turnover again. It was trying to turn over, but maybe not quite as much as I wanted. So let's just try and play a low one now. So obviously these are flying pretty high, aren't they? Let's see what it's like. I'm just knocking, a, knocking one down again. This is more done through a technique into its slight adjustment of ball position, a little bit of weight, just maybe easing off the swing a little bit. Oh, that's beautiful. I, mean, I love to play that shot myself personally and that's just through a completely different window there. If we have a look at that sort of height, yeah, you see 80 foot there, so a good 30 foot, 25, 30 foot lower on its flight. So no issues of knocking that flight down and, and sort of working that ball um, with that particular iron. Okay, let's go look at those numbers a little bit more detail and see how the MB iron is performing. Okay, so I'm just going to knock those last three shots off that I try to hit a fade, a draw and a low one just so um, we can just get the numbers happening here. So we've got the sort of averages along the bottom. So again, club head speed just under that 90 mile an hour, around that 90 spot there, which is typical for me. Uh, ball speed 120, just short of 121. So again, a little bit less ball speed there. You notice that one second shot, you see wasn't quite flush, little miss hit. You can see how that ball speed drops a little bit more. Again, there's not that forgiveness level in these irons, is there? Um, launch angle around that 20, touch higher than maybe what we've seen in the MC iron and also the 770. Um, again, 35 degrees aloft, we are gonna put it through that different window, aren't we? So averaging at 6137, you see a little bit of a movability on that that spin there just as I was moving that strike a little bit around so from a sort of five and a half to six seven there should maybe expect that to be a little bit tighter but again that's a bit more me um, more so than the club really but looking at carry 168 and a half on average so um, obviously not as far and not as 
as long hitting as you'd expect to see against the more powerful sort of tech iron. Not a lot of technology you can put into a blade. We've got that little bit of that sort of diamond sort of shape, pointy bit in the back section and that's about it. Okay everybody, so there we go. There's the pure muscle back, the P7MB iron from TaylorMade. Won't be a massive seller for obvious reasons. Very small sort of market um, for that sort of very low handicap, that, that probably that tall player in a way. Uh, who's look? Who's is really consistent on that on that uh, on that ball striking? So not everybody's cup of tea, but it does look beautiful, doesn't it? Imagine just having those sat in your bag as a bit of a bag appeal. You know they're going to look great, aren't they? So push comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on the MB iron and also the other irons in in the TaylorMade range as they've launched this P series. I think they've done a fantastic job. The looks of all the irons, the performance so far has been really really good. So very impressive. I think they're going to do some probably some big numbers here in terms of sales. I think everybody's going to be wanting to try these range of irons. So post your comments down below. Thanks so much for watching the video, appreciate it as always. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you know what to do, just hit that subscribe button, very much appreciate that, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.